Hi, and welcome to our Holden Evening Prayer, our Lenten Midweek Devotional Service, which we offer for your reflection in your home on YouTube. Thanks for joining us. Um, Holden's a tradition in our congregation, Lutheran Church of the Incarnation. We love it, and we're glad you're able to join us in this way. Uh, this year, you'll, you'll hear the music, and there'll be um, some videos uh, that will be added by members of our congregation who are sharing a little bit of their faith story. And we thank you to those brave souls and leaders who were able to share a little bit of their heart, um, a little bit about um, why they're a Christian, what it is about their faith and this faith community that they value um, for your edification and for your reflection as we follow Jesus in these 40 days in preparation for Easter. So enjoy Holden Evening Prayer. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light your darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine with God be with you all. And also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your peace. By night and day, may the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and life of all creation. with 
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. Hello, uh, my name is Julia. You may know me as the office administrator for LCI, but uh, today I'm going to be sharing my faith story. So number one, why am I a Christian? I am a Christian because I was born Catholic um, to a Catholic family. Um, and it is something that I've always known, something that I never really questioned, um, and something that I've always been content with, um, which is you know, obviously my faith and um, things like that. And um, my faith means uh, a large part of my cultural identity. Um, my father being Irish American and my mother being Spanish. Um, and especially on my mother's side, um, Christian holidays are some of the most important cultural traditions in Spain and in Spanish culture. Um, so it is very important to me as a part of my cultural identity. And, uh, you know, what do I value about this church community? I, you know, as the office administrator, I do feel like I do serve this community um, in the simplest ways, but obviously I feel like um, a you know, playing a big part is something that I'm very content with and something that I, uh, that fulfills me. Um, and yeah, uh, so I chose for my Bible verse today, I chose Psalm 52, chapter eight, or sorry, excuse me, verse eight. Um, and it reads, uh, but I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the steadfast love of God forever and ever. And I chose this verse because Olive trees, especially green olives, are um, a very import important staple in Mediterranean food. Um, and they sort of signify a kind of um, rich um, land and rich um, uh, soil in those regions. So if you're growing olive trees, especially um, in the southern region of Spain, you know you're in a good piece of land. So that's just the first thing I thought of. And also just the imagery and the, um, the, the metaphors of olive trees, I think, are um, very beautiful. Um, saying, I am an olive tree. Um, that kind of personification of olive trees really kind of speaks to me because as someone from that region, I do understand how important they are. Um, and during, um, uh, you know, back then, like, they're a very important uh, part of survival and, um, like I said, like, um, fruitfulness in um, you know, the area that you live in. <laughs> so I kind of like understand the um, the symbolism of olive trees. Um, and then in the house of God, I see that as like um, feeling protected and feeling, um, uh, um, feeling you know, safe um, with your faith and with God, um, which is something that I believe in. And I trust in the steadfast love of God forever and ever. I see this as, you know, God is always with me. Um, it's never something I have to question. Um, my faith is something that is important to my day-to-day, -day and um, I'm reminded of it, and it's something that I'm very content with. So, yeah, that is my faith story. Thank you. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a Chosen one of God 
for peace between nations, for peace between peoples. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God create to bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the spirit of love be our guide and peace.